Digging in the mines all day. Digging in the mine all day. And all night, of course. Well, not always all night. Hmm. Actually, I wonder what time it is. Hmm. Neatly looks like it's time for bed. So, I will leave the mine today and do some more digging tomorrow. That's strange. Gobble stone I'm not picking up properly, I am. Ah, such a beautiful evening. I think it's dusk at the moment. Hmm, do I want to build a snowman right now? Yes, I do. Oh, he looks perfect! That's brilliant! Anyway. Stay night time, I better... Oh, uh, where's my front door key? Oh, yeah. It's in there. There I go. Now, just quickly hide my front door key in my little hidey hole in the grandfather clock. Might as well put the cobblestone in there as well. Hmm, what to do now? I think I'll just sit by the fire, see. There's a bit of TV on. He Man, Nanny Cat, or Nyan Cat, however it's pronounced. Nope, that channel's broken. Okay, nothing much on TV. There's a cup of tea there. I'll clear that up in the morning. <sighs> ah, the Christmas tree looks brilliant. The house looks lovely and decorated. The chest's all Christmassy. And the flint is steel still in there so I can light the fire in the morning but for now it's time to put the fire out because I do not need it on when I'm about to go to sleep but as well better close all the blinds after all all these Christmas presents lying about I wouldn't want any Christmas burglars to come along and steal them eh ah right Milk and cookies. Four sat claws. Because tomorrow is Christmas Eve. Hmm, I thought those blinds weren't working properly for a moment there. Mistletoe up there. Ooh, nice warm soft carpet on the stairs. Fresh and new. Maybe I should get some up here as well. Anyway. Put me tools away for the day, along with me armour. There we go. Everything all decorated. Still haven't got anything in my wardrobe. Maybe just check the internet for a moment. Do, do, do. Check me notifications. Okay. No notifications. But, uh... Ugh. I should re-get some automatic blinds so when I just click a button they all close at the same time instead of have to doing them one by one and I don't have any blinds on those windows as well hopefully I have a good night's sleep for once ah there we go all the blinds are drawn just time to turn off the lights there I go oh, it's Go to sleep in my lovely little golden dragon onesie. Right.
Okay, Santa, me and Miles are here at the Rocky Start Place now. Santa, we haven't got much time left. We need to go and rescue Hanzo and Gretel. Now also, do we even need this Rocky guy's help? Miles, don't interrupt me when I'm talking to Santa. Hey, I was not interrupting you, Abby. Stop shouting, you two. Do you want the witch's eyes and ears to know that you're there? No, Santa, sir. Sorry, Santa. Also, Miles, we do need Rocky, as you and, of course, Abby know that only someone, i.e. Rocky, can pass through the magical barrier, as the barrier keeps out elves and anyone who hasn't got the strength needed to pass. Now just wait till morning and then go to talk to him. Okay, you two? Have you got that, Miles? Good. Ho, ho, ho. See you soon. Okay, Santa. Yes, Santa. You could be calling me at this time of night. No, with my phone. Well, there is. Good answer it. Hello? Rocky, it is I, your good old friend, Professor Green Tea. Professor M. Green Tea, to be exact. <laughs> so sorry to call you so late at night, but I just wanted to talk to you to see if you were okay, but also give you the good news. Okay, what good news? Well... The bank has accepted our offer, and we've got the lab! Isn't it excellent? Yeah, of course it is! We've got a lab! Cool. Well, I want you to start travelling here straight in the morning, so I have sent you a letter with all the details of how to get here, plus a package that will help you along your way, because it is a very, very long distance from your house. All the way over to me at the lab. Also, have you thought of a name? Yeah, of course I have. What is it? Okay, I'll say it now. The name of the lab is officially Dragon Labs. What a marvellous idea for a name. We should have that on a billboard right outside the lab. But anyway, I'll let you get back to sleep now, so I hope that I will hopefully see you for Christmas. If not, I hope you have a good Christmas, and goodbye. Bye, Professor Green Tea. Ah, oh, Professor Green Tea. Always calling me late at night with something, but never mind, we got the lab. <sighs> that wasn't too bad a night's sleep. Right. Open all the blinds. Uh, I need to get electronic blinds still. Um, and I better get the mail. What day is it today? <gasps> It's Christmas Eve! Christmas Eve, Christmas Eve... We don't particularly need... ...the lights on with the daylight... ...coming through the windows. Just open all of these and those and those. Flint and steel still in there. Probably light the fire later today. Do 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 hmm. I'm very proud of this Christmas tree, but first of all, better get some food because it's gonna be a long trip. Right. Close that door. Aha Oh come on the Pope Well actually Professor Green Tea left off the five on my last name again. 
Right, let's see what this letter says here. So, Book and Quill, and... Actually, let's have a look at what's inside the... How did Professor Green Tea get my toy TARDIS? And my toy R2-D2? Hmm, I must have left them... When we last saw each other. Put that on... That on, and looks like that's all in the package. Oh wait, we got Emerald Warhammer and a flashlight. Is there anything in the backpack actually? We got some marshmallows, a lantern, some coal, some log seats, chests, knife, camping knife actually it should say, more marshmallows, and that looks like about. It really? Yeah. Okay. Right. Let's read the letter. Oh, I'm still tired from last night. Right. What does it say? Dear Rocky, in the package is some camping stuff so you can get through the forest to the helipad where you'll find a helicopter so you can get to the lab faster and so you don't have to walk all the way hang on hang on hang on before we finish that forest oh dear so you don't have to walk all the way here see you soon yours professor green tea oh what a nice letter just put that there. Put that there. Whoa! What? What was that noise? But proceed with caution. Nothing over here. Maybe it came from upstairs. Nothing up here. So it must have come from downstairs near the fireplace. <sighs> okay, if the noise is coming from the fireplace, we better be very quiet. Oh, better close the door. I always leave the door on the latch so I never have to lock it properly. Actually, talking about locking doors, I will take the front door key with me. Christmas elves? Um, excuse me, what are you two doing in my fireplace? Could you please tell me? Hello, I'm Abby. Hello, I'm Miles. We need help rescuing our friends. Hazel and Greta. Uh, hang on, on, hang on, why me? Me? Special? You gotta be kidding me. Well, you can argue with Santa. True, you can't argue with Santa. Okay, I will help. Where are Hansel and Gretel? Oh, you see, the blind witch came to life after the previous one had been destroyed and kidnapped Hansel and Gretel. Then she used a portal to get out of the enchanted forest and here to these lands. And also build herself a new gingerbread house and this is where you come in with me and Abby will fly you to the magical barrier of the witch's house. And you drop down out of our transport. Then you have to go and open or break down the front door, throw a smoke grenade in, give Hansel and Gretel these special friendship coins so that they trust you. Tell them to follow you outside. Then when you destroy the witch once and for all, the magical barrier will break, and then we will land the transport. Okay. I can do that. Let's go. Uh, Where's our transport? On top of the mountain behind your house. I have to climb a mountain. <sighs> no, silly. We're teleporting to the transport. Okay, beam us up now, Ryan. Wait a minute, what? Teleport? Uh-oh. <sighs> wow. That was teleporting, certainly. Felt really weird having every single part of me split into a million pieces. And 
been turned into basically air. Ugh. Doesn't bear thinking about. But anyway, smoke grenade violet. Hmm. Friendship coin one, friendship coin two. Right, elf cloves for Rocky. Elf tech thing? That must be for me as well. Well, let's uh, put this on and see how it looks, I guess. Okay, now I'm all dressed in the elf gear. Hmm, look okay. Right, let's get on the airship. Hello, other elves and... Ah, you must be Hansel and Gretel's dad. After all, you are human, just like me. You don't have... No, you don't have the elf ears. Unlike these elves over here. Alright. Do you need anything, Miles? Are you all ready to go now? Yeah, I'm all ready to go now. Okay, then Ryan, let's go. Okay, everybody. We're here just above the witch's house. Rocky, it's all up to you. Oh, also, is a parachute. Thanks for the parachute, Ryan. That's okay, Rocky. It's all up to you now. Good luck. Thanks, Ryan. Uh, hang on a minute. Abby, how am I going to get down there? Okay, Rocky, do you remember what to do now? Yes, I do <laughs> remember the plan, but like I just said a moment ago, how am I going to get down there? Don't worry, I will just give you a little push. And I'll admit, what push? I can't believe she did that. Well, this is the witch's house. Okay, which I got your house surrounded. So let Hansel and Gretel go now or else. Yes, please, help us. The witch is going to send us to the nether dimension. Help us, please help. Oh, shush, you two. If you come in, I will send you to the nether as well. I'm not scared of an old witch. I'm not that old, you know. Oh, shut up, witch. Time for you to have some grenades. <laughs> Ansel, Grail, where are you? Where are you? There you are. We gotta get out of here. Okay, but can we actually trust you? Yeah, can we trust you? I know your friend, Abby and <coughs> Miles. Okay then, let's go before the smoke clears. Oh yeah, I'm meant to give you these special friendship coins. <coughs> Come on, let's get out of here. <coughs> Right, you two okay? Well, you look okay. You're probably in too much shock to talk. You two, wait right here, okay? I gotta go and deal with this witch. The name's Rocky. Okay, good luck now. Hey, what's your name? Okay, witch. I might be blind, but I can sense you're in front of me. Yes, I am. You're going to be going to the Nether. The ghasts can chase you, plus you won't be around in this dimension or the Enchanted Forest. Oh, really? Well, 
I'm sending you to the Never. Magica Nevera Petrificus Totalus. I can't move. You're going to be a frog in the Never when I'm unfrozen. I don't think so, a little miss witch. I got a spell for you. You see, I'm a couple of witches a while back. The Sanderson sisters from the town of Salem, I believe it was called. So, I'm going to use that spell right now and send you to the Never slash another dementia. Uh oh, this isn't going to be good. I say, you say, into pie up and baby up and die. I say, you say, to pie up and baby up and die. Kamagoriyama? Kamagoriyama? I say, hey, hi, hey, hi, bye, 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 bye. Right, now the witch is gone, I just better close this. She must have opened it before I came back in. So she was ready to send me to the Never, then probably Hanson Gretel. <clears throat> Hello, Abby? Come in. Hopefully you can hear me. If you can, you can land the transports now. I repeat, you can land the transports now. Okay, Rocky, we'll come and land the transport now. Ryan, take us to the ground. Daddy, I'm so happy you're here. Dad, I was so scared back there in the witch's house. I thought me and Greta were going to be sent to the nether. It's okay, kid. Everything's going to be okay now. Your mother will be glad that we're all back home just in time for Christmas, all safe. If it wasn't for you, Rocky, we could have both been in the nether right now. That's okay, you two. Hey, how you doing, Abby? So, Rocky, did you get rid of the witch? Yes, I did get rid of the witch. I think she's in the nether, probably being chased by ghasts, but... The spy used... Uh, I saw learnt off other witches, and I'm not completely sure if it sent her to the Never. But the thing is, I definitely know she's not here, and she's not in the Uncharted Forest. So that's good for us. Hopefully. Hopefully she's in the Never, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see. But anyway, you okay, Miles? Good, that's one less bad witch to deal with. So, uh, can I... Get a lift back home now if we're all done here. Okay, Ryan, get ready to lift off. We're going to drop Rocky back home. You, Ryan, you up there? Yes, I'm up here, Rocky. Everybody, all aboard. I'll take you back first off to your home, Rocky, and then I better be off back to the Enchanted Forest with Ansel Gretel, their dad, and then back off to the North Pole. So, all ready to go? Yeah, I'm all ready to go, Ryan. Let's go. Okay, I guess this is our final farewell, but hey, Abby, you okay after all of that? Thank you so much, Rocky, for saving our friends. It was fine. It was <laughs> just great to get out of the house for once. You okay, Miles? I guess Santa was right. You really are special, Rocky. I guess Santa was right. After all, you can't argue with Santa like you and Abby said earlier. Also, it was no problem. It was good to have a Christmassy adventure to go and save Hansel and Gretel here from a witch in a gingerbread house. Why does that sound like a story I've heard somewhere before? Hmm, never mind. We better get Hansel and Gretel and also their dad back home. I hope we meet again in the future and thanks again. Yeah, take care of yourself, dude. Hey, Rocky. Thanks for saving my kids again. Goodbye. Okay. Bye, Rocky. I hope you keep being a hero. Hey, Rocky. You're one cool dude. And goodbye. Goodbye, all of you. It was great to meet you all. And hopefully we'll see each other in the future sometime. Anyway. Uh, you know, when I rolled out of bed in the middle of the night, when Professor Green Tea called me, something was strange about my bed. I can't explain what it was. Wait a minute. Sounds like there's something in this trouble. 
wonder what's in a letter? Who's it from? Santa? Okay, what does it say? Let's see. Tiny writing. Dear Rocky, I know you were uncomfortable on that old bed of yours, so I had the liberty of using my special Christmas magic to turn your old bed with golden frame with the uncomfortable duvet and pillow into this lovely wooden bed with a yellowy gold duvet cover. I hope you like it. Signed, Santa. P.S. The blind above your bed accidentally teleported along with your old bed. Because I didn't just magically change one bed into another bed like I just said. But uh, I switched them around and uh, I'll be using your old bed for firewood. Well, that all depends if the gold frame actually burns. If not, maybe I will take up a hobby of doing some metal smithing or something like that. Once again, so sorry about the broken blind on the window. Yours sincerely, Saint Nicholas, a.k.a. Santa Claus. Wow, and I guess we get to keep the elf clothes. Well, it's still Christmas Eve. Got my hat stocking hung up there for Christmas Day. But uh, that's the end of our venture here. And may I just say, everybody, thank you for watching my first ever Minecraft roleplay story. This is been episode one of Dragon Labs which is a brand new series to the channel. When we eventually make our way to the lab with Professor Green Tea we will be doing more mod reviews inside that lab. So I hope you all have enjoyed this video. This video also had two voice actors in being my friends Memo Gaming and also ZeldaFan02. Links to all their social media including their YouTube channels will be down in the description down below and if you're wondering what they did Momo Gaming she voiced Abby the Christmas Elf and also Gretel and my other good friend ZeldaFan02 he voiced Miles the Christmas Elf and Hatzel so they were brilliant help, so I want to say a big thank you to both of them. And I hope you all enjoyed this video, but this video has taken me all day, because today is actually Christmas Eve Why I was recording this, because I wanted to record it earlier, but unfortunately I simply didn't have time because I have been a bit ill. But anyway, from me... And also this video should be going up on Christmas Day. So it's Christmas Day for all the you people watching. So thank you everybody so much. And please go subscribe and follow my two friends Momo Gaming ZeldaFan02 on their Twitter. And subscribe to them on YouTube like I just said. But also ZeldaFan02 has an Instagram which you should go and follow him at. Um, I'm not sure about Memo Gaming, but if she does have one, I will leave a link to it, of course, in the description down below. But this was an extremely big project. It took a lot of time, so I hope you all have enjoyed this. I won't be able to do these sort of more roleplay story Minecraft things on a regular basis, because, like I said, it did take me all day, and also... My older brother and mother have been, like, silent all day just so I could record. So, thanks to them as well, actually. But, until next time, you know what to do with 
well, you, what I'm supposed to say is, you know the drill with the commenting, the liking, the favouriting, the sharing and the subscribing. And I hope you all have a very happy Christmas and a happy new year. But, of course, not everybody celebrates Christmas. So if you're celebrating something like Hanukkah, that's the only other holiday I know of, actually. Sorry. Um, I hope you will enjoy whatever you're celebrating and still have a happy new year. So thank you, everybody, once more for watching. This outro's been going on for five minutes. So... Stay golden, stay frosty, and... Vices! See you in the new year!